Now then, here we go again. I'm getting another wee shot and I've got Innes Rankin to say thanks to for that. So thanks very much, Innes. Now these are two flies that I would normally have fished when I was gilling on the Thurzo. The top one is a wee hitch fly and the bottom one there is a fly that was tied by a lovely, lovely guy called Sam Glenn. Sam has sadly passed away, but his flies very much live on and they're still catching fish. This is the gullet on the River Ness. I'm just about to have a go. I like the thought of having the riffle hitch right on the surface and Sam's fly slightly deeper in the water column. Anyway, this is as low as I've seen this river, so hopefully we can entertain something. We'll see how we get on. Aye. If you just keep it sort of. Is it on? Yeah, it's already going.
Well done. <laughs> oh no. Is it laced? It looks like the, it looks fresh enough to be laced. I don't see any just now. Yeah. Oh well. That was a crack and we first first run out with the the wee rod. And that's the wee fly there, Grant. Yeah. That Ooh. was tied by a, a guy called Sam Glenn, who's now unfortunately passed on. But his flies are still here. Yeah. Still yeah. doing the, the business, you know. Well, we'll get a couple of scales from this, eh? Absolutely. But there was definitely a couple of lice on it there. It's pretty fresh, isn't it? That was very kind of us. I'm glad I put my wee jacket on. I think I'd have been soaked right through. I was starting to feel the cold there myself. And I thought, oh, I'll just put it on, you know. See how we go. Eight and a half, right? See this colour? The lower the better, in my opinion. I cannot be too low. Oh, Look yeah. at it, all the, all the bark eddies disappearing it. Yeah. Your line doesn't get sucked out. Yeah. It just shows you you can still winkle them out of this height. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. 